I'm TC and this is TC time. Uh, have, I started making these videos in the winter and I'm man, I've been itching to make this one all winter long. I was waiting to, for somebody's car to need, need to be washed. Because one of the coolest things I've ever made is a screw together power washer. You go down to the hardware store, buy every single one of these fittings, screw them together and it'll work. The best part about it is, is it'll never break. Uh, I've got four different examples of a Venturi pump, water pump, Venturi valve, power washer. Now, when I started making this thing, I had no idea what a Venturi was. All I knew is that I owned a detail shop and my power washer went out in the middle of winter and it was gonna take three weeks for me to get my power washer back from repair and $1,800 to buy a brand new one. So I was already having to spend $650 to get my broke power washer fixed and I didn't want to spend another 1800 to have one to use for three weeks so I had to figure out how to power my water all right well the best solution I the best solution that I could come up with was pressurized air because I had a sand blaster and if you can throw sand with air I was pretty sure you could throw water with air the hardest part of figuring all that out was how to mix the water and the air so the air didn't shut off the water like a valve all right so First couple ones I made, I made out of PVC, and believe me, you, you can make this thing as cheap as you want or as expensive as you want. That's why I got several different examples. After I got one working, I understood how, why it worked and how it worked. Then I was able to come up with different ways to do this thing. All right, so. We're gonna start off with, this is the, ex, this is the simplest example that you can have to combine air and water. Extremely dangerous. This is a plastic T-fitting garden hose valve that I bought at Dollar General. Not rated for pressure. But if you're gonna do this, you're gonna hook this up to an air compressor. So, at your own risk. The whole concept is, is you put air on one side and your garden hose on the other. Then you combine it into one tip. If you don't have a cone already, then you can just reduce it down and you can control how much water and how much air with this little with this little uh, garden hose T. This does work. I don't know if I would trust it just with anybody's hands, and if you are using it, I'd be extremely careful. But this is a proof of concept model that absolutely does a pretty good, pretty good job. Five bucks, you can have a power washer. All right, so. I didn't want just a, something that might be dangerous to use in my shop, so I, I had to start thinking about stuff. All right, so what I ended up coming up with was I thought, okay, if I got a T-fitting and I was able to put the uh, air in the back and the water on the bottom like this right here, put a, see I got a valve right there, and on my original one I just put a, a three-quarter inch to a quarter inch reducer and hooked my air compressor up to it. That kind of works too, but the thing about it is, is whenever that air blows across that hole that the water's coming out of, it acts as a valve and it shuts it off, and the water is going to get searched because it just doesn't work right. So to get around this problem, what I had to do is I had to get the air that was coming in this back hole right here past that hole if I wanted the water to combine. The easiest way to do that is to go buy you a three quarter inch reducer, three quarter inch to quarter. And if you just stand there in the hardware aisle, you can usually find uh, one of these reducers that are already made that you can just back thread a quarter inch pipe into. Okay, this, now keep in mind that pipe is not supposed to be screwed in to that side. So if you can't find one that it'll just go ahead and screw into, Go to Harbor Freight, buy yourself a quarter inch uh, international pipe thread tap, tap it out, screw it in. This is the easiest way to do this. And I like, like I said, I've seen lots of videos on YouTube of guys that are super handy and they're doing all this. And, you know, they're not making a power washer, but their, their uh, answer to pipe at a pipe is a lot different than this and it, it, it's harder. You have to know how to solder you have to have specialized tool you just have to go to the hardware store and screw this one together now after the three quarter inch uh plug then we have another quarter inch tube that goes to an air valve 
a quarter inch air valve and ball valve. The reason I put that on there is so I could control with that valve how much water I'm letting out and with this valve how much air I'm letting out. So what you end up with is something like this. See how the, the center pipe is past the T. And once you do that, you can adjust the length of this uh, inner pipe, whatever you want, like on, on this gun right here. This is the gun I made for my pressurized water system. And the inside quarter inch pipe goes all the way up to the uh, fireman's hose garden, hose nozzle, which is, a, I use these because it's a uh, three quarter inch on the end and it's a perfect cone. All right, and the reason why this one is made the way it is is because, let's see, where's my, all right, if you'll notice you have two water inlets. You don't have to use both water inlets, but the reason why I have two water inlets, and this will be in a later video, is I have a pressurized water tanks, and they alternate, so whenever I'm filling one up with my garden hose, it'll, it'll uh, and I'm using the other one, they'll alternate so I can use and fill at the exact same time. Um, that's just for more pressure. It just You don't have to have to have that. Today, I'm gonna be uh, using this thing with just the back valve only, and the front valve will stay closed off because I'm just gonna be using a garden hose and an air compressor, and that's it. I'm not pressurizing my water, I'm not pressurizing anything. So I, I only need one valve. You can't use the front valve because it won't, it won't operate as good. So if you're gonna go make this gun right here, the front valve stays closed, the back valve stays open if you're just going off the garden hose. All right, so we talked about how you combine water and air, and I've showed you the inexpensive, dangerous way, and I've shown you the expensive, uh, last, for, last you for your lifetime way. I mean, this thing has no moving parts except for a ball valve for water, a ball valve for air, and that's it. So you're not gonna wear it out. And if something does go out, you unscrew it, put another one on. All right, now earlier in the se season, I told everybody I was gonna show you how to make a pressure washer out of the kitchen sink. I wasn't kidding. Here it is. The reason why a kitchen sink works, works on the same properties of, of a garden hose Y fitting. You have two ends and one out. Gotta be a little creative. This particular kitchen faucet that I found had uh, three quarter inch international pipe thread holes to work from. That's my water, that's my air. I got a valve there, I got a valve there. And then I just made my nozzle out of a old air fitting for compressed air. You can also, I don't recommend it, but you can control, if you don't have valves, you can control the air and water pressure with your hot and cold knobs on your kitchen faucet all right so that, that's power washer um the reason why i'm showing you guys this is it, you, do, you don't have to just use this for power washer there's all kinds of reasons why you need to combine uh compressed air or regular air with some type of fluid and you'd believe that uh that'd be easy but it ain't easy if you do this it's easy uh this particular version right here that i'm about to screw together All right, this uh, old ugly thing right here, I use this to spray uh, used oil into my shop heater. So instead of using water, I'm just using oil, and I switch the oil to the small fitting and the air on the big fitting. And by doing this, all I have to do is use like an air mattress blower upper, and you don't have to use compressed air. The thing about it is if you're gonna go this route, you never turn the air off first. Always turn the oil off first and instead of there all right now then if you're making your own garden as i kind of looked across this yesterday because i was trying to make a, a, a permanent connection to this gun so it didn't when i'm using it if, it if the hose leaks i don't get all wet all right well i didn't know if i was going to need a male end or a female end so what i figured out yesterday is if you take a three-quarter inch nipple and you screw it into a three-quarter inch coupler 
They sell this fitting at the at the hardware store, which has three quarter international pipe thread and garden hose threads on this side. It also has a sediment filter in it, so it'll make it safe. So all you got to do is screw these two together. I'm not going to show that because I'm holding my phone. Screw those together, and if you have a female connector on your garden hose, a regular three quarter inch international pipe thread uh, nipple will work great. And if you have a a male connection then you just got to screw that thing on and it converts it back over to um, male to female male uh, this will be male this will be female it's it's that easy all right so that's everything i know about how to combine liquid and air i thought while i'm shooting this video i'd go and show you one other hack that i came up with when i had my detail shop and matter of fact you can buy this hack on uh on tv now now, I, I actually called the invent help number to see if this was patentable at the time. This was like eight years ago. Yes, it was at the time, and I'm sure they sold that idea to somebody because I didn't have the $50,000 to get the patent. All right, here it is. Toilet bowl brush and a drill. Okay, low speed drill on a cordless, and then I have a half inch drill that's high speed, and you just cut the toilet bowl brush off and stick it in your drill, and instead of doing that, you just press a button and it does it way more efficiently. It works great on tires, works great on upholstery, works great on anywhere that you would need to use a brush. It's just better and faster. All right, guys, well, that's all I know. And this is exactly why you should tune into a channel put out by a guy that's not an expert for expert advice because I just keep messing with it until I figure it out. And when I figure it out, it's figured out all the way out. All right, like, subscribe, and tune in next time. Thanks again for choosing TC Time.